What's going on ladies and gentlemen, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new MetaHuman light presets that Epic Games released for us today for free. So to get this light preset, just go to your Epic Games launcher, go to the marketplace, and go to one of my favorite tabs in the Epic Marketplace, which is the free. So go ahead and click on that, and you're going to see it right here on the left side. Click that, MetaHuman Creator Lighting Presets. And we're going to be downloading this. It's 4.26 and 4.27, but I'm going to see if I can use this in 5 later. So let's go ahead and download this. I believe I have enough for this. I have 37 gigs of free memory. And let's see how much this is going to take. So we'll create a new project. And I'll change this to 4.27. And we're just going to create this like this. And then what I'll do is actually merge a character that I have into this project so we can take a look at it using my custom meta human characters. Okay, so here we are in a project. I already got it loaded up and I went ahead and added my meta human. So here's the project folder. I'm going to go to the uh, meta human creator lighting preset ray tracing because we do have ray tracing on. And we'll take a look at the first one first, which is the fireside ray tracing map. And I already have her in here. And let's change the camera speed to like two. Here she is, and let's go ahead and change her LOD to 1-1 one, one so we can get that nice high quality in there. She got her hair looking good. Let's add a level sequence. I want to get a camera in there. Let's create this one like that, and we'll add her in here. just want to see what this looks like. So these lighting presets were actually created by a legit cinematographer. Uh, he's a cinematographer who lit Dune. And he also lit the new Batman movie that's coming out soon. So this guy is clearly a professional, which is really exciting. Um, if you're not familiar with what a cinematographer is, they pretty much light movies. And sometimes they even deal with camera movements and so on and so forth. Uh, they're also called director of photography. And they're also called, sometimes they're called DPs as well. So if you hear that, that's who they are. Uh, it's not the director that light stuff. That's the cinematographer's job. And yeah. So here we are with the scene. It looks pretty darn cool. Um, There is this static mesh on the back. Kind of like a fake glow, I guess. It's just a plane with a material on it. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of like fake ambiance, if you would. I mean, you could technically mimic that with uh, fog. But, you know, that's just something quick. Uh, Performance-wise, it's pretty good too, pretty quick and fast. It's not going to affect your FPS too much. So this is that fire light side lighting, which looks pretty cool. It's obviously not cyberpunk-ish. So here she is, Agent Seiko, wearing her flip-flop. I mean, that flip-flop looks great. Yeah, I like this one. Tungsten is pretty hard to mimic fire and tungsten lighting is so hard to do and unfortunately it is my absolute favorite when it comes to lighting in the real world um i just love it the way the light bulb burns just creates this organic warm feel to it and it looks amazing on skin tones i'm gonna press g to hide this annoying thing but yeah this looks pretty good go get get this side right here looks like we have a key light a fill and we have the ambiance. Okay, it's great. Let's go to our cinema actor here. See if we can offset this thing. Kind of see her eyes right there. And this one looks pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty natural. And let's go ahead and crank this up to 200%. Be warned if your computer can't handle it, do not do this. <laughs> see that? I'm starting to slow down, but that looks amazing. Now, for me, I would probably turn down to fill. You know, I just really like that, you know, like mood lighting. And I probably turn this down to one. Now, additionally, for this, you can copy the light color of this. If you go to the hex sRGB, go ahead and copy that and save it to a notepad. And if you can use it in a different project, if you really like this lighting, which actually I do like this, and I'll probably will copy this in a notepad that I keep. All right, so let's move on to the next map and we'll take a look at the moonlight ray tracing one. I won't save any of this, but yeah, that looks good. So this is kind of like bluish. I mean, again, another thing that's hard to mimic in Unreal is moon lighting. Tungsten and moon lighting, so hard. But let me go ahead and drop it, drag and drop Seiko here. And we'll reset her so she's right in the middle. And we'll do the same thing. Set her LOD to 1 and then 1. And let me tell you about moon lighting. Because again, this is... Oh, moon lighting is one of my favorites. Lighting, it's, it's so moody and dark, you know? So here's moonlight. 
Let's create a camera and move her around. Agent Seiko looks great. Can't wait to show you all what I'm about to make with her. Here you go. So this is your moonlighting here. So let me let me change this back to 100 because I am lagging really bad. So let's go ahead and turn that down. Um, but this moonlighting looks pretty good as well. I really like that cool feel to it. But moonlighting is so subjective. Sometimes uh, if you watch movies by Shane Hurlbut, he he makes his moonlighting gray. Uh, silver gray and I love that if you've seen Terminator Salvation um, that is how he lit it which looks really cool but additionally I like that uh, if you've seen Toy Story 4 the moonlighting there again if you've seen my previous videos I try to copy it that is really good moonlighting I like that really dark blue moonlight but this one is kind of like in the middle you know it's not really too harsh but it's it's just blue so but this is called moonlight right here and additionally, they did add a texture right here. Um, if you bought one of my course, I pretty much showed you how to use this and get it. So you're going to be familiar with this if you bought my Unreal Engine 5 course. You can actually see where they are. And there's some free ones right here. You can just grab. You got a softbox. But this just adds, you know, that extra layer of texture whenever you're using lighting. Um, let's see if they do transmission on these lights. Yep, they sure do. Okay, yep, transmission. Again, that's one of my favorite things to use whenever I'm lighting and metahumans is using transmissions there. So I'm going to close that out. So that's good. This is the moonlight effect. Really cool. And again, it looks like we have that fake glow in the back, which is cool. Yeah, that, that looks great, man. This is, you know, getting to that cyberpunk mood. So let's move on to the next map. And this one is portrait ray tracing. And I'll just say don't save. Okay, so this is that beginning map, and we'll just drop in Seiko. Okay, so let's reset Seiko. So she's right in the middle. Cinematics, add master. Actually, go cinematics, add level sequence, save. Now, I'm definitely going to be using some of these presets because they're free. Who wouldn't? Go ahead and uh, go in there. Now, this is more like portrait fashion photography, you know, something like that. Go ahead and change the focus plane here again and this looks good really soft okay here you go i'm pretty happy with that result right there yeah my, my computer is like really lagging but yeah this looks freaking amazing this is this is legit man i, I like this is not so much like moody but it has that nice kind of like if you're making like shooting a commercial for a lotion or a shampoo or something you would use this they got a key light background light ambient light and let's see how all those are kind of set up let's go to the two panes here and we'll go back to our perspective and we'll change this to cinema camera and yeah you can kind of see that oh no let's change that lod we do not want a cyberpunk oh no we're not going there all right we got this light key light right here that is massive that is a rec light again one of my favorites yeah it looks like it's using a lot of rec lights in here got this ambient again you can turn it on and off you know if you want that dark mood uh really like it and it looks like a black background as well and what's cool is you can see those uh reflections of the soft boxes and you see this in magazines a lot this kind of lighting and i like it this is really cool this is awesome this looks amazing and again you got the source texture right here which is like a soft box and probably in hdri mode and high quality uh, softbox right here float yep it's an hdr float so that means you're getting a lot of that dynamic range in there on this probably an exr yep exr right here so this is good stuff this looks incredible looks amazing it, good job i like that one so let's move on to the lantern look okay so this is red and if you've been watching me a while you know i love red lighting and this is exciting stuff man i'm like a freaking lighting nerd and this is clever. I'm not a cinematographer. I just love watching movies and I like to mimic the movies I love with lighting in Unreal because I never got to practice this in real life because lighting is expensive, man. You're renting or buying an HMI or tungsten lighting, big ones that is, they get pretty expensive. So Unreal actually lets me exercise my lighting junkiness, if you will, because I get to play around with lights in here. And that's what I do when I'm bored, actually. I would get like a meta human 
and just start lighting and see what I can get, you know? Oh, we got our LOD changing here for a second. Give me a second. No, we're not going there. We don't want that. We don't want that look. I'm not trying to do a project red here, man. This is not good. All right, here we go. There you go. Now, this is red lighting. And actually, funny enough, I did some red lighting uh, picture with Seiko before this even preset came out because I love blue and red. I, I just love that the contrast. I play with it quite a bit. And we have the ambient light to be red right there. And you have a hair light here as well. You can see that on the back. This is a rim light or sometimes you can call it a headlight. And majority of the time, lighting is really just all about positioning and you see that right here, man. This is this is amazing setup right here. We got a fill light, which is a spotlight. Interesting, okay. Got that nice spot. Looks like it's just kicking some dirt, kind of like light up, light up right here. See the shadows are up here instead of down here because it's coming kind of from below. And you have the key light right in front of it, dead center. Yep, right here, just right on top. Now, I really wouldn't light something like this for a movie unless you're creating like a sitcom or a funny comedy or something like that. Because, you know, me, I, I love shadows. Even though YouTube compression hates shadows, I absolutely love shadows. I embrace shadows. And, you know, if I were to use this, I would probably move this like, you know, side light. I would probably side light this right here. Probably move it to the right. And I put the camera on the opposite side. Kind of cool. I'd maybe just drop it down. Get some side light in there. Now the fill is actually still adding a lot of light in there. But if I turn that off, it's like, boom, look at that. Ugh. But we do need some eye light in there, though. If I turn this off, you're going to need some kind of eye light in there. Because if not, that eye is going to look dead and fake. So maybe just turn it down to like two. I don't know. Yeah, see that? Just a little bit of hint. I'm just messing around with the template here now, to be honest. I'm just like messing everywhere. Um, for the fill light, I would probably turn that off and I would just drop like a like a point. I'm gonna go reset it. Reset this point light right here. And I will move it. You see that? There's already some nice light. See that? So just turn it down to like two. And there you go. Whoa. And let's change that to movable. So we can get rid of that. And just like that, we modify this lighting. That looks so freaking cool. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I traditionally don't light straight out, straight out in front of the face because you get that deer lighting look, but this looks cool. And additionally, if you want to copy that color, just go here and you can use this, you can use this on your eye light as well. If we go right here, paste it, boom. So it kind of matches. That's so, that's nice. I like this. I'm probably going to use this um, but really, the red lighting, I usually go with red, red. Um, you can copy these value right here, but for me, I usually just go R, 1, and G, and G and B to zero. And that is as red as it gets. Like, that is neon, you know, Amsterdam, Roxanne. You know, you don't have to put on the red light lighting. I love that. It looks great. So let's go ahead and move on because I am running out of hard drive space here. Let's go to the next maps. We will look at, that's Lantern. We'll look at the split lighting. Let's go to sequence, save. And I know I could have prepped this, but I wanted to kind of do this live so you guys can see it. Um, let's go move in there. You see the camera moving. All right, so split lighting. As it says, we have two lights, one on the left. And it looks like there's a fill right here on the, on the right. So that's split. So let me go ahead and change this here. Change our... Now, if you've been with me for a while, you see me light either split or close to Rembrandt lighting. Uh, this is the way I light. Uh, one side is always going to be shadow majority of the time, unless it's a VTuber, then obviously that's I'm mimicking just a light, like a ring light in front of them. But this right here is how I usually typically light. And what you'll see me do is I usually go on the shadow side like this. And that's where I would go. Because I love that shadow side for some reason. And it's probably Roger Deakins that just brainwashed me in doing that. But because he, he likes shadow. If, if you've seen No Country for Old Man, dude, just study that hard. And, you know, you're going to see that there's a lot of great cinematography in that. So this is split lighting. It's a little bit of color tint to it, it looks like, from the key light. 
So let's go to that key light real quick. Oh, you didn't, you didn't name it key light. So let's go ahead and go here. And it's called spill light or fill spotlight too. And yeah, this one is white. So this one right here. Yeah, this one has the tint. So this one has the tint. A little bit of color in there. So you can see it's kind of towards this area here. So it's not completely white. So that is the split. Now, if I was to do this, I would turn off the fill light. <laughs> I would turn it off completely because, dude, you know, that's just the way I go. I mean, look, look at this. Look how epic that is. It looks amazing. So let's go to the last one because I think I only got five gigabytes left here. I have to delete some stuff. And tungsten. Oh, snaps. Here goes the tungsten. All right. Again, tungsten is very difficult, at least for me to mimic in Unreal or any 3D package ever. It, there is just something about tungsten just the quality of it now this looking at this from afar it looks like it's more like a stylized tungsten because there's a little bit more like orange look to it rather than just that burning tungsten light bulb let's go at psycho here let's go ahead and get a camera oh we got our medic control rig delete all this we got this here and let's get closer and my computer is saying no mas no mas por favor so let's go ahead and change this to one change this to one and ray tracing is on too. That's probably why it's crying right now. And what's crazy is I, I didn't even show you the 200% for the rest of the maps. But if you have a faster computer than I do, you can try it. It's going to look great. So this is the tungsten version of uh, the cinematographer, Greg. So let's take a look. And again, to me, this, it almost looks to me like sodium vapor to me. And again, it's just because it's hard. It's hard to do tungsten. Yeah, this looks more like sodium vapor. So let me go ahead and turn this fill, and that looks freaking good. Sometimes you just gotta turn that fill light, man, and and it's just it creates so much moodiness to it. I'm gonna do like that rim. I would probably keep that rim light right there. You know, just play with the key light and then the rim light, and you get this dramatic, freaking amazing. I'm probably gonna make this a thumbnail to be honest, because that just looks freaking epic. I know this is a long video already, and I am very sorry. I get really excited when it comes to lighting, uh, meta humans, and lighting and cinematography in here. I am gonna be making a lot more lighting setups for my previous videos. It's just been crazy hectic. And again, I am hosting a short film competition uh, right now. Go check it out in the description below. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna be giving away a motion capture suit so go ahead and check that out